This is just a video that I'm making because it's not too often you get two vehicles this cool side by side. So over here is a 2006 H1 Alpha LBZ Duramax Dream Motor Dream Hummer. So uh, this is basically an all stock machine. Uh, it's got some different wheels on it, I think, but that's it. Real nice, low mile. We got it here at the shop working on it. Just a CTIS issue. No big deal, but it's a it's a nice machine. And next to it is a fully custom CJ8 1981 custom down to the framing, everything. It's an LS motor. It's got vintage air condition in it. Um, it is a uh, NV4500 transmission in it. It's a Dana 300 transfer case, twin stick. And it is one 2023 Dallas Autorama best four x four. So it's a uh, pretty substantial show vehicle. This is not a, this is a mall crawler is all it is. It's a, it'll definitely work when it's asked to. It's just a show machine. So it's a, sun's kind of ugly today with all this stuff, but there's more videos of this on the, on the net. So uh, you can see, see it to its entirety. But uh, this was a five year project well done so there's two neat four by fours both of them really too nice to off-road that one both of them really too expensive to off-road but uh, both capable uh, capable machines of course the uh, h1 is known as the uh, most serious 4x4 on earth, as they call it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 37 inch tires on it. This has got 35s on it. Worn winch on it. And of course, what makes this special? That's the, the good one, the 06. So, the scramble hood. Let me get the hood pop in one hand here. There we go. Vortec. LS motor. All done in here with header headers. And, Installed, very professional. Um, Jeep runs all on box shocks. Um, complete suspension system here. And there's your uh, your springs, which I put those in this as I had to to respring this thing. It was set up way too rock crawlerish. It was a tilt to whirl, not very streetable at all. But, uh, it's got a good balance to it now, so it'll, it'll do a little bit of both. What else? So just some cool vehicles. Let's look in the Hummer here. So there you are, your H1 full luxury machine here all your power windows and of course your your back air condition and all that stuff and that's what uh full alpha machine looks like there of course you know this is uh not the military version which you know, they're different and you know they had earlier ones had the 6.5 liter motors in there uh and then they went to 6.5 turbo which you know eh, it's kind of a underpowered uh, not so not so great motor and there's guys that have made them really good but 
genuinely this is the the motor the, the duramax and this thing is what makes this hummer what it is just as the ls motor and that thing and all the stuff makes it what it is because let's face it a 1981 v8 jeep scrambler all stock got a good value to it and that's what that thing was at one point pretty damn boring it ain't boring anymore hmm. So you see these two side by side, it's just kind of neat. So that's kind of why I'm doing the video. And, uh, so this uh, H1 actually just came in. So we're doing some work on it. Like I said, it's had some small issues. It's real low mile, but nothing, nothing major by any means. Very, very nice. And I know this is just getting boring, dragging on. I'm not saying much, but uh, just letting everybody get to see of these vehicles. Let me see what this looks like under the front. Yeah, that's a spring over machine now. And uh, what else is on that thing? And the Dana 44 is front and rear. And of course, these are wine stands. I believe there's a Wagoneer stance that are on this and it's got the uh, spring over you know spindles or uh, turning uh, buckle system on there so all that's up in that way there and I did a lot to uh, reconfigure this thing because I, I didn't build it so I can't take full credit for it but I did sort it quite uh, quite heavily over a year it's been quite a project to sort this thing and get it all right and uh, we've got the uh, Suspension travel pretty good now. The uh, stops are decent on it, so it it'll do it'll do street road popping over curbs, tilting pretty good, and still articulating, uh, you know, fairly well. It's not going to be a, a competitive rock crawler machine. You see, you can't really drive those on the road at all if it, if it is. So it uh, it'll it'll do fair enough. It's just a well-rounded machine. Sits up really tall. Obviously, it sits a bit higher than the H1. So you can tell how big that thing really is. It is a monster. <laughs> and what else? That's kind of it, but you know, I'm, like I said, getting boring here. So I'm just admiring these things as I'm taking the, the video myself. So forgive me for just rattling on. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. There's more on, you know, the scrambler on the on the on the uh, on YouTube. You can see more of that inside with it, a lot of detail underneath it. But uh, that's definitely worth looking at. That is a is a is a machine. And like I said, we, this year we brought it to the Dallas Autorama, and it just it got serious attention, and it, it won some pretty good awards there. First place for the entire you know four by four category, which was I don't remember twenty maybe vehicles in there roughly in that so and everybody loved it and of course any h1 gets attention you can't uh, miss that thing going down the road as wide as they are they take up a full lane pretty much um, and they're actually pretty easy to drive so it's nothing nothing hard about that to drive it's actually the jeep is hairier than the uh than the hummer for sure on the street but uh Hummer's pretty cool. And for, uh, you know, I, I have, this is the first LBZ one that I've driven uh, myself and had the chance to just feel what it does. And yeah, it's, for a big old machine like this, that motor definitely moves it down the road quite adequate. Uh, I wouldn't say it's, it's, a, it's a high performance, you know, quarter mile set or anything like that, but Jesus, for a big old machine, that motor totes that sucker there. Definitely better than the other early ones. I've driven a lot of the, the uh the six fives and yeah those are not anything like this so that's why i guess these carry a over two hundred thousand dollar value in most cases anymore so just because of that motor does it all anyway thanks for watching